guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're switching it up a bit. We're just having a living room chat. You know, me, you. We're just gonna have a nice little living room chat. And we're talking about the new Sonia G Face Pro Set. These brushes are everything. So they're handmade in Japan. We've got some beautiful goat bristles. We're gonna get into all of that. I did my face with these brushes, so we're gonna see how this all came together. So just keep watching for that. And don't forget to like, subscribe, to comment, do all those lovely things because I so appreciate it when you do. So as always, I'm Bree and I'm the owner of Breezy Tea along with my husband and we make hair products that fight frizz, lock in moisture, and protect your hair with style. I'm wearing our silver satin sleep scarf and I have a million uses for this thing. This thing. Yes, I wear it to sleep, but I like wearing it as just a cute little accessory. So today I've got my puff up and so I'm just wearing it as an accessory. But we know that satin locks in moisture. It helps with frizz. It protects our hair from damage, from breakage, from split ends. So satin is a mighty, mighty friend to a natural, to a curly girl. So we love our satin and it should be a part of your routine. So you can always find our satin sleep scarves at breezytea.com. Now we're going to get into these brushes. And as I talk about the one... We'll try a product on with it. So first up is the Inochie Pro Brush. That pronunciation took me a minute. I'm probably still off a little bit, but my Japanese, I feel like I feel like I, I gave it the old college try, Inochie. I'm gonna read a little bit about what Sonia says about these brushes, but I can't do it justice. Sonia is a brush aficionado, and you will learn so much from listening to her reading when she writes about brushes. It's it's like it's like a it's like a masterclass in brushes. So I'm not gonna read her full thing. If you go to her Instagram, Sweet Temptations, um, Sweet Makeup Temptations, which is the name of her blog. If you go to her Instagram, you can read it for yourself, the full thing. I don't want to get too technical. I'm just gonna give you an overview of what it says. In calligraphy, a brush is more than a writing tool, and it's an extension of the mind and the body of the calligrapher. Okay? Um, as she was explaining all the details about the design and the performance of the brush to the artisans, they kept referring to it, to it as Inoshige. The Inoshige is the most important and precious part in a calligraphy brush, the heart of the brush. Because the word was so important in the understanding and making of the particular feud, I wanted it to remain with the brush. Okay, the name. It's very dense at the base. The density decreases halfway up where it becomes just airy enough so that the bristles that touch the skin can still move easily to apply and blend with no pressure, no effort, and the most satisfying control. After washing it and using it a few times, it still remains tapered, allowing precision at the tip, but the body blooms, and because of its medium size, it offers great versatility, okay? It is fantastic to set foundation with pressed or loose powders, a dream with bronzer or powders to add structure to the face, but it also works wonders when it comes to blush application. So that's a little bit about this brush, Inoshihe. Inoshie. Ooh, cha. Inoshie. You have to learn a whole new language to get into these brushes. But we're gonna go in with my Fenty Beauty setting powder and I'm just gonna set my concealer. Softest things you will have near your eyes. Let me tell you guys, this feels like butter. It feels like butter. And the great thing is, what I love about it, it gets you in and out. It really is like a couple of swipes. It feels so good, you wanna just keep going over it, I'm not gonna lie. I do use this to set my concealer and um, it feels so good you just don't want to stop. So wherever you have concealer, wherever you need to set, wherever you need to do, boom, 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 boom. So I'm done with the Inochie, which is, I haven't used it yet for blush, but I'm going to try these brushes in the future with different things, but right now, I'm using it to set my concealer. So next up is the Face Pro, and guys, ah, 
This is my joint, okay? This one is so, be they're all beautiful and they feel so good. So let's let's see what Sonia's talking about with this one. She aimed for a face brush that would feel safe in any situation with any product and effortless at any skill level from the pro makeup artist to the novice. That was her intention going into it. It's made with a mix of undyed and dyed Saikoho goat bristles that really help in terms of maintenance as it won't look as dirty when it's dirty. But most importantly, the mix of these two bristles brought the results she was looking for, the perfect fusion of softness and strength, okay? The combination, let's scroll down a little bit, adds airiness and flexibility to the bristles and makes the blush brush splay out with while still keeping a great grip on the more tough products. This combo is not only mesmerizing to look at, but mixed together, they bring out the best in both. It's meant to be used with powders, finishing powders, bronzers, also blush when we don't require a precise application. So that's just a little bit about this beautiful brush. And I'm going to use it with my Bobbi Brown uh, bronzing powder in deep. And just a quick little swoosh over here, swoosh over here on the cheeks. Bring it here. I use it to contour, so like I would a contour. I'm gonna just swoosh it here. And again, here you go. The great thing about these brushes just warmed up the face. It takes two seconds to apply. It's the softest thing I've ever felt on my face. It just feels brush I've ever felt on my face. I love it. And it takes two seconds to apply. The problem is it feels so good that you just don't want to stop going over. So this is the beautiful Face Pro. And I talked about using brushes for multi-purposes. And this one is good. I'm using the Detail Pro, which we're about to use for the eyes. But just to bring the powder down the nose to do a little nose contouring, okay? So we love that. And again, I'm going to wipe it off on the, quickly wipe it off on the microfiber. <laughs> microfiber, wiping it off, wiping it off, wiping it off, wiping it off. And this will be good. There's no transferring of color. I'm going to use this for the eye. So let's talk a second about the pricing. So if I didn't mention, these are handmade in Japan. Sonia is is a brush enthusiast, a brush just she's just a guru she knows her brushes and from that love of brushes she created her own she was able to develop and make her own brushes which are handmade in japan in small batches which is why you will find that they are oftentimes sold out because they're sold in smaller batches they have to go back and do and i mean it's I can do it no justice. If you're a, a nerd like me and you just like the technical side of things, go to her site and just read up on the process, how they make the handles, how they make the bristles, the whole thing, how they all come together. It's really, really fascinating. Thus, the price, okay? So I'm not somebody, I'm not gonna discuss or debate pricing of beauty products with people because truthfully with makeup, there's something at every single price point. If you don't want to spend a lot, you don't have to spend a lot. If you want to spend a lot, you can spend a lot, okay? If there are things you look for in something, in a price point, that's it. There's no debate. There shouldn't be, and there should be no wagging of fingers because something is something out of your range. There's always something out of our ranges, and there are always things that... We want to buy with our money that someone else may not want to. So that's how I feel about these brushes. They are an investment. I plan on having them for a very long time. Take care of them well. And you should have a long life with your brushes, okay? But if it's not your price point, it's okay. There are amazing cheap brushes or cheaper brushes that do the job. Absolutely. Absolutely. They are. But... For a handcrafted, natural goat bristle, I mean, the whole process, when you see how it comes together, together, you get it. And somebody who makes their own products, you know, price point is one of those things in business that you debate all the time. But at the end of the day, you, ch you charge for, for something not being mass produced 
in a factory, okay? The prices are gonna be different. That's life. That is life. So just as someone wants to pay $500 for a pair of sneakers, I don't. I wanna spend it on things that I like. So that's a little bit about the pricing because I know there's just this ever going debate about pricing of makeup and is it worth it and da da da. Only the person can decide if it's worth it. If you don't think it's worth it, don't spend your money on it. But these are handcrafted. They are fabulous. And that was, now that I'm done with my pricing rant, uh, that was the, no, face one brush. So this next brush is the Detail Pro. Sonia says we can think about this brush as a chubby crease blender type of brush in terms of shape, but it's not really for crease definition. This is to precisely set the lids or other areas of the face to sculpt, to paint with powder products, just like I did with the uh, contour, the bronzing contour powder. Um, it was all about a small, versatile tool that had to easily fit in eyeshadow pans so that we can work with any eyeshadow onto the face, should we wish to, okay? This brush makes you feel like an artist working on a canvas. The whole experience is an absolute treat. Um, I had, she had the same challenges with the Face Pro brush using only dyed goat bristles was making the application too directional and heavy. I wanted to offer the possibility to build the color gradually highlight or contour smaller areas without harsh edges adding the white undyed bristles in the mix made it just right you get enough grip to work with pressed powders even the difficult ones and you can build gradually the intensity on the skin it's effortless from the moment you pick the product up until the final blending okay so this is a little power brush that you can use in different ways what i'm going to do now is just blend some simple I just wanna wash on my eye. I don't wanna to do too much. So I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Oh Yeah Omega Shadow, okay? And just put a little wash, one color on the eyes. I don't wanna to do too much. I don't want to, just want some color, okay? We just want some color. So a nice brush to just sweep it on. And like again, you saw me use it for the contour now I just went away last week and I took these brushes and I protected them as I traveled with the uh, brush guards where's my brush guard do I have a brush guard on me man these things were lifesavers oh I can show it to you with this brush it's in the the brush guard so the brush guards a hundred on Amazon for like five bucks, 5.95, okay? And yeah, this is more than enough color. More than enough color. We just wanted a little bit to just zhuzh up the eye a little bit. And this brush does that. Like it does small enough to just do just this. I'm not trying to be extra fancy. So we've got a little color on our eyes. And this one is the detail pro which you can just do lots of things with okay so next up we have the cheek pro another soft a beautiful lovely one so sonia says i love blushes and spe especially shades that are closer to my skin tone unfortunately when we need to build up neutral or softer shades these tend to be more difficult to work with and then we struggle to get an application that stays put this little cheek brush cheek pro brush is at the same time super cute and truly efficient we love efficient especially when you're a busy woman we love efficiency because efficiency means we can get in and out quicker um it works with any type of finish matte this is important matte sparkly jelly frosts hybrids gel powder formulas if you usually cannot get any color payoff this one will definitely work wonders i'm actually looking forward i haven't done it yet to maybe working with some of the products that are a little trickier the jellies that are a little trickier so this this one i'm looking forward to trying with that i've only used it with powder powder so far the bristles are quite short and quite dense as you can see um they will facilitate the work on the on smallest pans Post wash, they splay out nicely to a paddle pom pom shape and deliver a diffused application on the cheeks. 
Combining strength and softness in the same little brush is always quite a challenge, but it was achieved in such an amazing way. You can use it for blush, but also to sculpt, set, polish, highlight. This little brush is a versatile tool, both in personal and professional makeup kits. Okay, so we're going to go in with NARS Wanted 2 palette um, and put some blush on. One of my things is I don't like to, some brushes, you know, just go on really heavy. And I feel like just a dip of the pan, we're going to go in with Coral because it's the season. And we're just going to put some Coral on the cheeks and then swipe it up and if I feel like I've done too much then I simply flip the brush over and with the part with no color on it I go to work and I am I covering myself I suck I suck And brush it up, and brush it up, and brush it up. Giving me like a nice bit of rosiness, rosiness. Blush is always a tricky thing for me because I don't, I have images of like, did you ever see the movie Whatever Happened to Baby Jane? Old school movie, old, old school movie. But I, I like blush, when I think of makeup, I always think blush is where things can get clownish sometimes. So I'm super like, I'm super wary of like too much blush. I'm starting to relax a bit and play around with a little more blush, but it's uh that's one of the things that I'm like, ooh, I don't want to overdo it with the blush. So I don't want to look like I have hives. Okay, people? I don't want to look like I have hives. This is so soft and it's getting it out. And you see, I don't know if you noticed, but this one I went in, speaking of going in too heavy, I went in a little bit too heavy, but now I brushed it out to perfection. And now it looks like a natural flush, simple and to the point. And it's dense and this brush is wonderful and we love it. And this is the wonderful Cheek Pro. And lastly, we've got the Fan Pro. I know that fan brushes are, you know, people feel Definite things about fan brushes some people love, some people hate. I love a good little fan brush. I like a fan brush, okay? So Sonia says that it's based on the best-selling Sculpt 3, similar size and shape, Gold Sai Coho Bristles 2, but here they're not dyed, which means we can safely use it with cream. So that's just a great point. You want to use powders with the dyed brushes so the brushes don't get ruined. With the white bristles, go on in with your creams. It works so well with both powders and solid creams. She often uses it, use it with highlighters that come in a stick packaging or with pans that have a more solid or sticky type of finish. There are some fun hybrid formulas around and this little fan can handle them so beautifully. Another one I'm looking forward to using with the different kinds of uh, highlighters that I have. Uh, if you pick the product, if you pick the product with the Fan Pro, Pro and then sweep onto the skin, the glow equals glass skin and it won't disturb the underneath application. It's absolutely gorgeous. So nobody wants to get to the point in their uh, makeup application where you're at the end with the highlighter and your makeup starts moving. That's never a good thing. Um, Sculpt 3 was created with the intention to deliver high impact, but this pro version is more wispy and will splay out more with time. It will offer a more progressive approach, starting with the more see-through application, building up the intensity, and it's also more appropriate across all types of finishes. I love a precise application of glow, and I'm literally obsessed with fan brushes and the application they provide. So, Sonya does have a lot of fan brushes. And yeah, so let's go in with, what am I going to use? I'm going to go in with one that I haven't used in a real long time. A Fenty Beauty's Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. And if we know anything about these, these kilowatts from uh, Fenty Beauty, a little bit goes a long way. So we're just going to put a little bit here. 
Okay, come in here. Should I go on with two a little bit? Perhaps, people. Okay. Because they're 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 they are quick. I mean, the application gets me that a lot of these brushes just in and out, but I'm I'm such a blender that I, I like to blend. I think it's like therapeutic almost. And this is what I like about this. It, it picks up just the right amount because when I first started using this Fenty Beauty product, let me tell you, this joint, it was too much. It was just too much, too much, too much. So I appreciate something that, you know, I can build up and doesn't, Go clownish straight away because it is hard to fix it. Again, this late stage in the game, nobody has time for all that. Nobody's got time for all of that. We're going to put a little here on the high points. Yes, we are. Excuse all my, um, excuse all my, uh, Just a little bit accents welcome to my life I've done this for forever once I was hanging out with my friend in Manhattan and um the whole day that was what we decided to do we decided to speak with accents the whole day and see if like guys bought it I was British my default accent is always British Sometimes it's better than others. It's better when I just hear it, then I can mimic it back pretty easily. But um, I was British, I don't remember what she was going for. But it was fun. The things you get up to growing up in New York City. The silliness. Okay, so yeah. And then we'll put a little On the cupid's bow and that is the fan pro so I just finished off the lips with Tatcha's peony blossom we're going with the to go with the pinky coral look today and I just adore these brushes I can't say enough again if you want to hear more about each brush how their her brushes are Sonia's brushes are made what's happening with the artisans in Japan just go to her to her site and you can get all the information on her Instagram. She breaks down each brush fully. She does not leave any stone unturned. She gives you an education on brushes. Um, they're beautiful. They work so beautifully. They're so soft, I can't say it enough. And just personally, I've seen a difference in my makeup and I know that might sound dramatic. It might just sound dramatic and that's okay. I get it, I get that that might sound dramatic. But when I'm working with her eye brushes, and I'll probably do another video for her eye pro, but when I'm working with her eye brushes or these brushes, everything just goes just where I want it to go. It's targeted, it's quick, I can get in, I can get out, and I just feel like my makeup looks more put together since um, just using these brushes. It's not to say, again, the other way, I, I before it just took me more time. I could get it with other brushes, obviously. It took me a little bit more time, but this just, gets it there it looks together and I just like how it doesn't over apply any product and it just builds it up to how I want it how I like to wear my makeup it also is about that I suppose it's how I like to wear my makeup I don't like to be ever too overdone so it's subtle it just you know puts it on in a subtle way and I love that should I want to go more I can so cannot say enough even though it's a long video and I have said a lot I cannot say enough about Sonia G, about her brushes. These are my favorite brushes. I'm looking forward to seeing what she does in the future. Some more brushes for cream products and just what else she's doing because they're just so good. I've not been let down by any brush I have of hers yet. So our living room chat is officially over. I look forward to doing this again soon. If you'd like to check out any of our satin sleep scarves, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, our satin line beanies, our satin line knit beanies, natural hair tees, and more, just visit us 
at breezytea.com. If you want to come hang out on social media, then by all means, come join us. We are Breezy Tea Towels 1 on Instagram, and we are Breezy Tea Towels on Facebook and Twitter. If you liked this video, like, subscribe, comment. Tell me if you're loving the brushes, what your favorite brushes are, what you're into in terms of tools. Let a girl know, and I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao for now. Bye.